morning everyone it is Monday morning today's first day back to work after Christmas break uh, December has finally arrived here in New England it, right now it's 33 degrees out and the temperature is supposed to drop throughout the day so it's gonna be a cold one and we're supposed to get a snowstorm tomorrow uh, so we go from record high temperatures of the 60s to 70 to a snowstorm but uh, heading in, I don't expect traffic to be too heavy today. All the schools are out. Uh, a lot of businesses closed for the week between Christmas and New Year, so traffic in Providence hopefully isn't too bad. Uh, only thing I'd mess it up if there was an accident, which I hope there isn't. But I'm on my way in. Hey everyone, uh, one thing I'm looking to do right now is every year my family would go to Florida on vacation, either in February or in April. I prefer February just because it's cold up here and it's usually pretty warm down there. Last year was the exception. <laughs> we froze our butts off in, in uh, February last year. Uh, check out the clips. Animal Kingdom! We're going to go to Kilimanjaro Safaris, but we couldn't get there in time. Get this is actually where our first pin traded. We're in Animal Kingdom. And it is freezing it. cold out. It's about 40 degrees with a 20 mile an hour wind. Charlie. We do it every year and just looking at the prices this year, it's ridiculous. We There is no way we're going to be able to afford it. Uh, pricing everything out just to go down there, between the tickets to the parks and the airfare and the hotel, car rental, it's going to be almost $5,000. So there's no way that we can do it. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out maybe even just going for a weekend. Uh, it's still going for a weekend is going to be about about two thousand dollars. So we usually go every year. Uh, last year was kind of difficult because my father had passed away right before we went down there. So it was it was kind of a sad occasion. So I don't want that to happen for the girl. You know that memory to last for the girls because Disney is one of my favorite things. One of the benefits last year, or not really benefit, but. It was the first year that it was actually cold down there. Uh, first two days that we were there, we had to wear winter jackets. It was so cold. We actually had extra magic hours. Uh, that's when Disney parks stay open for the guests that stay at the Disney resorts. And temperature went below freezing. Everybody went home. We were like, there was maybe 100 people in the park. Uh, my girls took advantage of it. They got to ride one of the roller coasters three times in a row. They didn't even have to get off. Uh, we're front, front of the line for most of the rides. Uh, we had a really good time that night. Like I said, 32 degrees after the winter we had last year, that was balmy. So we didn't have any problems being cold or anything. Normally when we go down in February, it's in the 70s. I mean, we've actually had 90 degree temperatures in February down there. I, like I said, I don't think we're going to be able to do it this year. I hope that we can, but time's kind of eh, right now. Uh, one of the other things I'm looking for is looking at is maybe going during the summer. I've been to Florida in July. It's not a fun place to be. It's very warm. So we'll see. I mean, I'm going to go on the screen computer now and take a look at prices, see prices have changed. I know the airline prices change a couple of times a day. You can get different prices. So if we find a really good price, then We'll probably go, I'll probably hop on it. Follow me on the computer and let's see what happens. Yeah, well, and like I said, we are trying to figure out a way to get to Disney this year. Down to Florida, at least, or for vacation. But airfare is just ridiculous. I've gone around and I've checked everywhere. Uh, one of the things that... The problems I run into is my wife's a teacher, so we can only go, and go during the vacations. And we normally go during February, which I have up here. But the problem with February this year is my daughters don't have February vacation, uh, so my wife does. But just checking, uh, this is actually the weekend before, or actually the weekend of, and these prices are ridiculous. I mean, I've checked there, I've, che I've checked Southwest, I've checked JetBlue. JetBlue is beyond ridiculous for their prices. I mean, the dates that we'd have to go, I said it'd just be a long weekend. We'd go Thursday through Tuesday. We can't, so we have two adults, two kids. Price is $400 a person each way. Uh, all right, ooh, 94 coming back. 
That is actually a really good price. That was not there the last time I checked. That is a new one. But it's to get down there on the Thursday. I wonder if we went back over here southwest, where it would be to go down Wednesday night. Yeah, it's still way too, it's, we're looking almost $1,500 to fly down there. Well, as you just saw on the computer, the prices haven't changed that much. They're still wicked expensive. What blew my mind was the JetBlue price was opposite of the normal. Most of the time, it's usually cheaper to fly down there. You get a really good price getting down there. It's getting back. It's ridiculous. And I want to make sure that I don't do something that I did a couple of years ago where I mistakenly, for us to go down there, I selected a ticket from Florida to Rhode Island. And then coming home, I did Rhode Island to Florida, so it was backwards. And luckily, I was able to, to fix that, because uh, that would have really stunk getting to the airport and having the wrong tickets. But, and like I said, as of right now, doesn't look like we're going. Uh, if you have any ideas, any hints, anything that, that may be able to get us to go, leave a comment or let me know. So... Uh, yeah, it's something we're really look of, looking to do, but unfortunately just the prices are just not there on Earth this year. Hey everyone, I am heading home right now. Uh, clouds are starting to roll in. We're going to get some snow tonight. They call them for three to five inches of snow up in my area. Uh, less as you get towards Providence where I am right now. So it's going to be an interesting commute tomorrow. Only thing saving us tomorrow morning is this light traffic this week. A lot of schools are out. A lot of businesses are closed for this week. So that helps but uh, not looking forward to it so i am heading home uh lean the girls i just checked they're still at mystic so i will be home before them so i got a little bit of time to myself at the house uh other than that not sure what's going to happen when i get home uh see what sort of mess the dogs made and take it from there so hey everyone that's going to be it for today's video uh hope you enjoyed seeing what I do, trying to get uh, Disney stuff. Uh, hope it was informative, hope you liked it. All right, as you saw, we're probably not gonna be able to afford to go this year, so kind of depressed. By any miracle, we do find something, we'll let you know, but it doesn't look good right now. So like I say every day, uh, if you wanna follow me, you can follow me on Facebook. Go to, you can subscribe to my Twitter feed. You can go to my website, which is markplant.com, or you can subscribe below. Thanks again for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will see you guys again tomorrow.